Hi, welcome to Essential IT and Security Skills. I'm Charles Redmond, Master Trainer, here to guide you through the essentials that you are going to need to land the job that you are looking for. In this series, we're going to talk about essential PC skills. I'm going to walk you through everything from software to hardware. Most people know me as a cybersecurity expert. Well, I couldn't have gotten there without learning the basics first. That's what this series is going to do. And then we'll move on in some later series with some more advanced concepts and techniques. But remember, it all starts with the basics. It starts right here, the essential PC skills. I'll explain the importance of gaining skill in managing and troubleshooting PCs, explaining the importance of the a certification itself, and describe how you are going to become a certified. The overall concept of certification has been around for quite some time. Automobile mechanics, for instance, must be ASE certified. Accountants, CPAs. Certification shows that you have the necessary skills to perform all of the required actions. It'll help open doors, get your resume noticed, put on the top of the stack, if you will, and land you that all-important interview. The CompTIA a certification has been around for quite some time. Unlike other certifications that are vendor specific like HP or Microsoft, the a certification is vendor neutral. The a certification itself is sponsored by an organization called CompTIA. It enjoys recognition across the entire computer industry. Achieving the a certification proves that you have at least nine months practical skill at managing and troubleshooting PCs. CompTIA is a nonprofit industry trade organization. More than 20,000 member organizations make up the CompTIA consortium, and the A plus is just the beginning. CompTIA offers a wide range of IT certifications like the Network Plus and Security Plus, and many, many more. For more information on the other IT certifications CompTIA offers, go to comptia.org. To become a CompTIA a certified PC technician, you must pass two computer-based multiple choice exams, the 220-801 and the 220-802. It's important to remember that CompTIA no longer offers a lifetime certification like in years past. You must retake the exam every three years or earn CEUs or continuing education units. Continuing education units are gained by attending industry events, training or teaching, or earning higher level certifications like the Network Plus and Security Plus. So what makes up the CompTIA a exams? The CompTIA software a exams are very Windows desktop centric. There's no Mac or Linux or Windows Server to worry about per se. Uh, it's all very much centered around Windows XP, Windows Vista, and Windows 7. And don't worry, Windows 8 has not yet made it into the common body of knowledge for the a exam. The basic exam structure looks like this. It's a question, four or maybe five possible choices. Your job is to select the correct choice or the best choice given the question. The 22801 exam is centered around hardware broken out into five domains, including PC hardware, networking, laptops, printers, and operational procedures. The 802 exam, software oriented, broken out into four domains, operating systems, security, mobile devices, and troubleshooting. Each domain on each test is weighed differently, some more than others. Over the course of this video series, we are going to touch on every portion of the objective map. You can find that in Appendix A of your textbook. It's important that you read the textbook to get a full understanding of the material that is covered in the a examinations. The 801 and 802, different depths and focus, whether it's to identify, install, and configure, or to maintain and troubleshoot. 
the A plus certification examination is offered at either the ProMetric or the Pearson View testing sites. Here's the information to contact them when you're ready to successfully navigate the A plus certification exams. Now, most importantly, how are you going to pass the exam? First of all, set a date. Pick a goal. Set aside enough time each day or week to study and perform the different labs in your textbook. Use the practice exams and the CD that comes with your textbook. And use good study strategies. Write down information in your own handwriting rather than just highlighting them in the book. And make yourself a set of flashcards. While there is a lot of material to cover, it can be done. There you have it. It's pretty simple. Remember, everything starts with the basics. Once you have these understood, everything gets a whole lot easier. If you have any questions or even just a comment, feel free to leave them below and I do read each and every one of them. I'll see you next time.